Uh, I'm from the east side of Cincinnati, next county over in that, but I grew up in a small county, two counties east of Cincinnati. Grew up a small town, a couple thousand, and we were looked at as the scumbag of Clinton County because Warmington was also in that county, and they were the high and mighty and the affluent people. Well, I've had a nickname for probably 45 years, and, we're, and a lot of people don't, they think it originated because I love the West and the decor, and that's the reason is my uh, <laughs> tribute to the state of Arizona, I just love the of that too. I, so a lot of people ask me time, and I said, how'd you ever come up with that nickname? Well, we went to a day at the Clinton County Fairgrounds. We were 20 years old. Guys were home from college and all that. Met these two girls. Well, my buddy, the girl he met, her dad was a cardiologist, and he was a big shot in Wilmington and all that. The girl I met, he and an insurance agency, and he was the mayor of Wilmington. And so, you know, we were looked down upon by a lot of people because we were from the little hick town. Stuff. So, we've been dating, I don't know, three, four, three, four weeks, something like that. Well, the mothers got together for an afternoon tea at the doctor's house. And my buddy's girlfriend was in the next room listening to him. So, her mother says, the girl I was dating, she had three sisters, they were all her name was Lou Ann, there was Linda, Louise, and Lon. They all named them the Ls. So they were sipping their tea, and the other girl's mom says, well, how's the girls doing? She goes, oh, you ain't gonna believe this. And she goes, you know, Louise, said, she's not getting good grades, she's gonna be a senior this year, she's not gonna get in any university, and we don't know what we're gonna do. We don't think we can get her into even a two-year college now, because she's just goofing off too much. The other lady, oh, that's bad, that's bad. And so she said, well, how about Linda? She goes, oh, I said, Linda's pregnant, and that guy's not going to marry her. And when I told her, we're not raising a, you know, me and her dad are too old, we're not yet raising a kid and stuff. <laughs> so she goes, well, you know, I'm going to have to get over that. And then the, the other daughter, she says, well, she said, what about her? Her and her and Tom were getting a divorce. They, they said that, you know, it's, it's irreversible. Well, I don't know. When they, they got two kids and they're going to expect us to watch them, we can't do all that stuff. It's just horrible. And finally, there's a little break in silence. And Rachel was sitting there listening. And she goes, well, what about Luann? She was going to a couple, college down in Tennessee, University of Tennessee. She threw her hands up in there and she goes, oh, she goes, hell, that's the worst one of the bunch. She's dating some cowboy from Blanchett. <laughs> So the name just kind of stuck. I think I got it from, and I have friends I've met that I traveled all over the country at, and a lot of them had no idea what my real name is. I just go by Calvin when they never, I've had people in and I say, well, I didn't know it was a real name. <laughs> but I just like the Western stuff and the Western, of course, that. That's it. I'm done. <laughs>